Hi, our group study about DC motor speed control using PID controller. This is our schematic diagram, consists of armature circuit and rotor part. The constant values are given. The input is the voltage applied and the output is the motor speed. So the transfer function is derived the output over the input and substituting all the constant inside this transfer function we get this transfer function and then simplify this transfer function by neglecting 0 0.02 because it's too small it doesn't give any effect to the transfer function and this show the open loop step response and the closed loop step response you can notice that the steady state error is very big the steady state error is about 0 0.909 so this is our design requirements to improve the setting time less than 0 0.5 seconds the overshoot less than 5% and no steady state error we will discuss about two PID controller design method one is the conventional method and the manual tuning so these two methods will give the transfer function of PID in this form first we use conventional method so we have to find the rule of curves first from this transfer function we have two finite poles which are located at negative 2 and negative 10 and two infinite zeros so we get the asymptote that intercept at negative 6 at rear axis and the angle is 90 degree at 270 degree and the breakaway point is located at negative 6 at on the rear axis and there's no closing point for the imaginary axis so we design the peak controller first let the overshoot become uh, 5% so we get the theta 0.69 the degree is 46.35 we obtain the gain from the rule of curves we get 27.7 and the steady state error is reduced to 0.265 so the step response you can notice here is improved and it have a small overshoot about 4.97 but the setting time is still exceed our requirements which is 0.69 next we design PD controller to improve our transient response setting time is set as 0.5 second the dominant poles are located at negative 8 plus minus 8.3 at 6 i there are two anchors from the pole which are 125.58 and 76.56 so if you think these two angles in this uh, equations we get the angles from the zeros the composite zeros to the dominant poles which is 25.14 and we get the zero value which are like 25.87 so substituting this dominant pose to the new transfer function we get a new gain equal to 2.65 so this is the closed loop step response of the pd composite transfer function the setting time and the final value has been improved so now we design pid controller by adding one zero at the location of negative 0.1 another origin pole this show the step response for the PID composite system you can notice that the setting time has been increased to 20.7 so we have to overcome this problem by changing the value of jack c so the transfer function can be improved by changing the zero value several value has been tried and we found that the most optimal value of the zero is 1.5 so the, and we get the PID constant KP equal to 72.5305 KI equal to 102.F3 and KD equal to 2.65 next the second method we use is manual tuning method this method does not require any calculation uh, we just tune the PID constant KP, KI, KD. First, we tune the KP first. The several value ranging from 10 to 300 is tested. The most optimal value of the KP is 100. That gives the shorter 
setting time and the rise time but the overshot is quite high but this can be improved later by tuning the KD and the steady state error is also quite long next we tune the KI to improve the steady state error you can notice that the most optimal value of KI is 200 because it gives the shorter setting time and rise time give lower overshoot compared to 300 plus we tune the KD to improve the overshoot performance so you can notice that the value of 8 and 10 is optimal but we choose 10 because it gives lower overshoot of course the setting time and rise time also meet our requirements finally we get our compositor transfer function this one and this is the neural cost of the uh, and this is the neural cost of the capacitor transfer function so we compare these two methods and we found that the manual tuning give a better performance because it has lower overshoot and shorter setting time and rise time